All right, this assignment involves recording transactions in T accounts. Uh, first thing I should do is put in my name, of course. Uh, and then your instructions just say to record the following six transactions in the T accounts below. Here are your six transactions. Below that, you have six pairs of T accounts, one pair for each transaction because each transaction will affect at least two accounts. Uh, put a few reminders below the instructions. Remember, your debits must always equal your credits. So you you can never have two debits and then no credits, or you can never have just one credit and no debits. You always have to have equal credit and debit amounts. Also, keep in mind that asset accounts increase with a debit and decrease with a credit. Remember, your debits are on the left and credits are on the right. Assets, if you remember from the accounting equation, assets are on the left-hand side of the accounting equation, so they increase with a debit, which is on the left-hand side of the T account. Liability and owner's equity accounts increase with a credit. Uh, keep in mind that liability and owner's equity accounts are on the right-hand side of the accounting equation, and they increase with a credit, which is on the right-hand side of the T account. Uh, then assets will decrease with a credit, and liability and owner, owner's equity accounts decrease with a debit. Uh, let's get started on our first transaction. In transaction number one, the owner, Tara Johnson, invested $5,000 into her business. So, first thing I need to do is determine which two accounts are going to be affected. If the owner is investing money into her business, you know that the cash account is going to be increasing. So I'm going to label my first T account cash. The other account that's affected in this transaction will be the owner's equity account. In this case, the owner's name is Tara Johnson, so it's going to be Tara Johnson Capital. Now I need to determine which account is going to be debited and which account is going to be credited. Cash is going to increase in this transaction. If I keep my reminders in mind up here, assets increase with a debit and decrease with a credit. Cash is an asset. So I'm going to debit cash for $5,000. Tara Johnson Capital is an owner's equity account. Owner's equity accounts increase with a credit. So Tara Johnson Capital is going to increase with a credit. I have $5,000 in debits, $5,000 in credits, so my debits equal my credits, and I'm good to move on. Transaction number two, I bought supplies on account from Fleet Supply Company, $200. So I'm buying supplies on account, and we'll pay cash for them at a later date. So I have no cash that's going to be involved in that transaction, but I do have supplies. So my supplies are going to increase, and the other account that's going to be affected since I bought these on account will be the Fleet Supply Company. So I'm buying supplies, so supplies have to go up. Supplies is an asset. Assets increase with a debit. So I'm going to have a $200 debit to supplies. Fleet Supply Company is a liability account. Liability accounts increase with a credit. So I'm going to have a $200 credit to the Fleet Supply Company. Again, my debits equal my credits, so I'm good to move on. In transaction number three, I paid $500 for rent. So I'm paying $500 cash for the rent for the building that I'm doing business out of. So the first account that's going to be affected is going to be cash. And then I will also have the rent expense account that's affected. So the account that keeps track of the amount of expense that I spend on rent. So I'm paying cash, so cash is going to go down. Cash is an asset. Assets increase with a debit and decrease with a credit. So I'm going to credit cash for $500. Rent expense shows decreases in your owner's capital. Owner's capital increases with a credit, so rent expense is going to increase with a debit. I know that one's uh, one that usually trips students up where they want to say that rent expense should increase with a credit because they compare it to a owner's equity account. But again, rent expense shows decreases in your owner's equity. Since owner's equity decreases with a debit, we are, de we are debiting rent expense in this transaction. And even if you can't keep that in mind, as long as you know how cash and all other assets are affected, you know that cash is going down in this transaction, so you know that you need to credit it. And as long as you keep in mind that your debits always have to equal your credits, if you know that you have this one correct, 
that you are supposed to credit cash, then you know that you have to debit rent expense because your debits always have to equal your credits. Transaction number four, we received $200 from customer for services rendered. So whatever this business does, they provided a service to their customer. Uh, that customer paid them $200. So the two accounts that are going to be affected are cash and sales. So cash, I'm receiving cash from the customer. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm receiving cash from the customer, so my cash is going to increase. Cash is an asset, assets increase with a debit. So I'm going to have a $200 debit to cash. Sales then, sales is a revenue account that keeps track of how, you know, the amount of sales that I make to customers. Sales is a revenue account, like I said, revenue accounts show increases in your owner's capital account. So sales increases with a credit, since they show increases in your capital, and capital increases with a credit. So I'm going to credit sales for $200. And again, if you have trouble keeping in mind, if you have trouble remembering how expenses or revenues or anything else are affected, as long as you can remember how assets such as cash are affected by debits and credits, you should be able to figure out what the other account, how the other account is affected. So here I know that cash has to be debited since cash is going up, so the other account has to be credited. Transaction number five, I bought supplies for $100 cash. So I am purchasing supplies for cash. So my two accounts that are going to be affected are supplies and cash. I'm buying supplies, so supplies is going to go up. Supplies is an asset, assets increase with a debit. So I'm going to debit supplies for $100. I'm paying cash, so cash is going to go down. Cash is an asset, and assets decrease with a credit. Again, I have equal debit and credit parts. So I can move on to transaction number six. In transaction number six, I paid $200 on account to the fleet supply company. So up here, I bought some supplies on account from the fleet supply company. So I increased that liability up here in transaction number two. Now I'm paying off that liability. So now I'm paying cash to the fleet supply company to pay off my liability with them. So the two accounts that are going to be affected are cash and the fleet supply company. I'm paying cash, so I know that cash is going to go down. Cash is an asset, so assets decrease with a credit. The fleet supply company is a liability account. I'm paying off that liability, so that liability is decreasing. So I am going to debit fleet supply company for $200 because liability accounts decrease with a debit. Again, my debits and credits are in balance. Uh, anytime that you are recording transactions using debits and credits, again, key thing to remember, your debits must always equal your credits. You will never have a transaction where your debits do not equal your credits. If you record a transaction and your debits don't equal your credits, something is wrong and you need to fix it. And again, keep in mind that assets increase with a debit and decrease with a credit. Liability and owner's equity accounts increase with a credit and decrease with a debit. Uh, again, in the Unit 3 content, you're going to have an assignment similar to this one to complete now. Uh, good luck and thanks for watching.